We made it, Ingenuity. We are officially Martians. Come on out and stretch your propellers. Yippee! Now, don't go too far. We need to check in and make sure none of our objectives change during the journey. Engaging rover vision. Oh, we're receiving a transmission from Earth. Congratulations, Perseverance. You're the newest resident of the Red Planet. However, this means we can no longer communicate in real time. Depending on the distance between Mars and myself, along with other factors, there will be a transmission delay ranging from 3 to 20 minutes. Your mission objectives remain the same, but there was a major development during your journey. Mars, do you want to do the honors? I will provide more updates as they become available. See you soon! Okay, Mars. Tell me about this big news. Well... During your journey, scientists on Earth confirmed that there is in fact water here! Wait, water? That means potential life. Come on, we have to go find it! Now don't fly off the handle. That water has been frozen for several billion years near my South Pole. Trust me, you'll like it here much more. You are so close to my equator, it can reach a balmy 70 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll explore Jezero Crater for one Martian year before venturing any further. That is 687 days on Earth! Which gives us plenty of time to hit fossilized pay dirt. Meanwhile, scientists on Earth will figure out how they'll collect the samples in my cache. But there is water! Which means, when Mars had its atmosphere, this dust bowl could have looked like this. Oh, wow! It's beautiful! It is indeed. On Earth, these areas have incredible biodiversity and are the perfect environment for fossils. The samples I collect could prove life once existed here. So, we better get started. Let's rock and roll! You can scout ahead. Make sure you update me on any phenomena pertaining to the Martian climate or geography. I'm going to run some tests. Well, the sooner I get to work, the sooner you can visit. I hope to see you soon.